Hey, hello everyone, my name is Octavio Ramirez and this is a short video tutorial. First, let me introduce you to Alan. He is Alan. He is 14 years old, he's from Spain, he likes to eat pizza, play video games, see his friends, but he also likes to study very much. He's from Madrid, but now he lives in Barcelona. He came to Barcelona to study secondary school. Alan moved from Madrid to Barcelona two years ago. That means that he's been studying in Barcelona for two years already. Next year, he'll have been studying here for three years. That's a plan in this moment, but in one year this plan will be completed. Alan wants to continue studying here. Let me tell you more about Alan. His dream is to become an architect one day. Why? Well, that's the reason why Alan is in Barcelona, because one day he wants to work at the Sagrada Familia. The Sagrada Familia is a very famous church here in Barcelona and it's quite old. Why? Well, they started building the Sagrada Familia in 1882. From that moment the workers continued working through generations until today. So, as of today, 2020, they have been building the Sagrada Familia for 138 years. The plan is to finish the church by 2026. By 2026, they'll have been building the Sagrada Familia for 144 years. And this means that from the beginning when they started construction in 1882 until today they have been continuously working for 134 years. The plan is to finish the church in the year 2026. All these years non-stop workers have been working continuously. To express this idea we use a tense called future perfect continuous. We use the future perfect continuous when we talk about a plan that will be completed at some point in the future, like the Sagrada Familia in the year 2026. But let me show you how to make a future perfect continuous sentence. This is the example. Next year, Alan will have been studying in Barcelona for three years. So, as we said before, this is now a plan, but by next year, this plan will be completed. Excellent. Let me show you how to make sentences like this. First, we need a future time, in this case, next year. After this, we need a subject, the person doing the action, and this is Alan. After this, we will always need this type of auxiliary, these three words, will, have, been. These three words work as an auxiliary to complete the sentence. After this we need a verb. This verb will finish with ing. This verb is in a continuous form. Then we need a complement, in this case Barcelona. And finally we need a future time of representing the time that passed. In this case three years. Mm -hmm. Three years will have passed. 
This sentence is in future perfect continuous. Let me show you another example. By 2026, they will have been building the Sagrada Familia for 144 years. 144 years is the time that is going to pass in the future. But let's review the complete structure one more time. By 2026, this will be the future time we are talking about. We need a subject, they. In this case, they represent different people, architects, workers, engineers, all the different workers that have been building the Sagrada Familia throughout history. Then the same three auxiliary words will have been a verb finishing with ing building do you know the verb building it's similar to construct okay then we need a complement the sagrada familia and finally the time that will have passed 144 years by 2026 they will have been building the Sagrada Familia for 144 years. When we say this type of sentences, we can add more volume to the subject and the verb. The subject is they and the verb building. When we read this sentence, these two words, they and building, will have more intonation. Listen. By 2026, they will have been building the Sagrada Familia for 144 years. One more time, pay attention to these two words, they and building. Listen how I will pronounce these words with more volume. By 2026, they will have been building the Sagrada Familia for 144 years. Excellent. Another aspect of the pronunciation is the reduction of the auxiliary. Instead of saying will have been, we can reduce will and we can reduce have. So they'll have, they'll have. By 2026, they'll have been, they'll have been. These words can be reduced will have for a instead of will and of instead of have. I will read it one more time. Pay attention to the reduction of will have been. By 2026, they'll have been building the Sagrada Familia for 144 years. What do you think? Excellent. Let's continue. Now let me show you another form of future perfect continuous. You can also make questions with future perfect continuous and you can also use negatives in this tense. However, these are not very common, but I will show you how to make them. First question, will Alan have been studying when his vacation ends? A possible answer, in this case negative, when his vacation ends, he won't have been studying. Another example of a question, where will Alan have been traveling when his vacation ends? Do you notice any difference between the first question and the last question? Yeah, that's right. Question one, it's only an affirmative or negative question. This means that to respond to this question, the only two possibilities will be a yes or a no. On the other hand, the last question is an information question. You need to give more information to respond to this question. In this case, the question begins with the word where. So we need to respond with the name of a place. Excellent. Let me show you how to make this type of questions. The first question, 
begins with will, that is an auxiliary. Then we need a subject, doing the action Alan, auxiliary, a thing, a verb, exactly a verb ending with ing, and a future time. Will Alan have been studying when his vacation ends? Listen to the pronunciation of the words Alan and studying. These words are pronounced with more volume. Will Alan have been studying when his vacation ends? Great! To respond in a negative way, we begin with future time. When his vacation ends, subject, he, who is he in this case? He refers to Alan. So Alan is the subject. Auxiliary in the negative form won't is the reduction of will not. Will not together become the word won't. So when his vacation ends, he won't have been studying the verb ending with ing. This is a negative form of the future perfect continuous. Finally, we begin with question word. Q means question, question word, followed by the auxiliary will, subject, again, Alan, auxiliary, have been, verb, ending with, exactly, with ing, and a future time. Where will Alan have been traveling when his vacation ends? I will say the sentence one more time, pay attention to the words Alan and traveling. Where will Alan have been traveling when his vacation ends? Let me give you another example of an information question. How long? Do you know this question? How long? This question refers to the duration of something. For example, how long is your vacation? The duration of my vacation is probably one week, two weeks, three weeks, etc. So how long is a question referring to the duration of a period of time? So in this case the question is, how long will he have been traveling when his vacation ends? We should respond to this question with time, with a length of time. Excellent! Now let's practice with some exercises. But before, let me show you just one more time the difference. This question is information question, how long, where, when, who, for example, and this question it's only yes or not. We are going to respond only with yes or with no. All right, so now let's continue with some exercises. Okay, so this is Alan, is the year 2050 in the future. Alan now lives in Italy. Here we have a question. Can you complete this question? What you have to do is to organize the words. We have question 1 and question 2. Please organize the words, pause the video and when you are ready unpause the video so I can show you the answers. Great! Do you have the answers? Let's check. These are the questions. Were your answers correct? Excellent! Congratulations! The first question is, how long will Alan have been living in Italy? In the year 2050. Second question, will Alan have been working as an architect for a long time? What do you think? What will be the possible answers? How many years do you think Alan will have been living in Italy in the year 2050? 
probably 20 years, probably 10 years, great. These are good answers. And what do you think? How long will Alan have been working as an architect in the year 2050? For many years? For 20? For 30 years? Probably. These are great answers. Okay, let's move on to the next exercise. Look, for this exercise you have one sentence which is example, like in number one, it will rain for 24 hours and it will stop raining in the morning. What you have to do is to use this word and to transform the second sentence so it has the same meaning, so the idea is exactly the same. Do you want to know a secret? Well, you can use future perfect continuous. <laughs> Great. So, pause the video for a moment. Think about your answers and unpause the video when you are ready. You can write your answers down on a piece of paper. Pause the video now. Excellent. Do you have some answers? Let's check. What do you think? Are they similar to yours? When it stops raining in the morning, it will have been raining for 24 hours. And the second answer? I will have been studying Italian for seven years before I leave school. Were your answers correct? Did you have a different answer? A normal problem for students is not to write one of the auxiliaries, for example, will or have or been. Don't forget to write the three auxiliaries, okay? All right, now that you have some practice, Let's do something a little more difficult. Here we have two conversations in English. We have person A and person B in conversation one. We also have person A and person B in conversation two. What you have to do is to complete conversation B. You are person B and you will complete this conversation using the verbs in parentheses. The verbs we have are study and travel. Let me read the first question for conversation one. How long has Patricia been learning English? Do you remember the meaning of the question how long is for duration? In this case, a duration of time. All right, you have to complete the answer. And question two goes like this. How many countries has your sister visited during her trip? All right, read the two possible answers, write your answers on a piece of paper, and when you are ready, unpause the video. So, please pause the video now. How did you do? Do you have some answers already? Excellent, so let's check them out. At the end of this course, she'll have been studying English for six years. So I hope your answers were correct. And the second answer is, I don't really know, but she has been traveling the world for a year before she gets back home. I will read it one more time. I don't really know, but she'll have, she'll have been traveling the world for a year before she gets back home. All right. So if you notice, these two questions, these two answers, for example, number one, at the end of this course, this course is not finished yet, okay? So remember, this is a plan. At the end of this course, in the future, mm -hmm, 
Patricia will have been studying English for six years. So in this moment, six years are not completed. The six years of continuous studying will be completed at the end of this course. So we are predicting a possible result. Do you remember? We, we, we checked this already. The same happens in number two. I don't really know, but she she'll have been traveling the world for a year before she get, gets back home. So, the example, your sister is not here yet. So she's traveling and traveling and traveling and traveling right now. She's traveling to many countries. And when she comes back in the future, she will have been traveling all around the world. Excellent. Now, let me ask about you. What do you think? Imagine this is you in the future. All right. So it's you now and the possible you in the future. What do you want to be when you are older? Would you like to be an, a scientist? Probably a chemist, a biologist. Would you like to be an astronaut? Probably. Or a doctor or an engineer. What would you like to do? So let's imagine for a second. What would you have been doing when you are 45? When you are 45 years old. Can you imagine that? Will you have a new house and job? Now let's try to imagine even more. How long will you have been living and working there? Imagine you had a new house and a new job. So how long will you have been living and working there? I will give you some minutes for you to write the answers, the possible answers. So please pause the video for a moment, write your answers, and then we check in a moment. Great. Do you have some answers? Excellent. So let me let me show you some possibility, okay? So this is Alan and in Alan's case, this is what he says. When I'm 45, I'll have been living in my new house for one year. And I will have been working as a movie actor for 10 years. E excellent. I imagine that Alan wanted to be an architect. But well, we are just imagining something about the future. So this will be all for today. If you have any questions or comments, please write them in the comment section of the video. And thank you so much. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>